Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, back again with an informational video for you today. It was some time ago where I produced a video about how VTech works. Uh, and at that time when I put that video out, I was asked about how iVTech works, which is a bit different than just the standard VTech setup. Given that I'm in the process of shooting a video on how to do a valve adjustment on my 2004 Honda Element, uh, which has an iVTech setup, I feel like there's no better time to cover this topic than now. Uh, one of the first things we need to do is go over a little bit about the operation and the function of a camshaft before we get into how iVTech works. So let's head over to the bench and do that. Okay, over here on the bench, I have a cylinder head. Uh, this came off of a, uh, a Honda Civic. And this is the camshaft here. Also sometimes affectionately referred to as the bump stick. Uh, you can see in profile the reason why. It has these egg-shaped cams, as they're called, along its length. Now the camshaft's job is to, in essence, open and close the valves. And it does this at a specific time because these lobes and everything are ground to open the valves at a particular time. In this case, it uses this series of rocker arms that these lobes push up against, which in turn use that uh, mechanical energy to open and close these valves. Uh, this is a VTEC cam, but like many VTECs of this type, it's only VTEC on the intake side. These are the intake lobes here and the exhaust lobes. So in other words, when these two lobes come up, it basically opens and closes the exhaust valves. When these two lobes come up, this opens and closes the intake valves. So I want you to think of this as, as basically a computer program for the engine telling it when to breathe. It tells it when to breathe in and when to breathe out. So now let's talk a little bit more about these uh, bumps or cam lobes uh, on this camshaft. It's extremely important because not only does it open and close the valves, but it does it at a specific time and a specific amount. So there's two things that come into play here and those are referred to as lift and duration. So the amount of time it's open, that's the duration. The amount of lift is how high this is. So how wide this is and how high this is has to do with the lift and duration of the camshaft. You'll hear those those terms thrown around a lot when talking about camshafts. Now the angle is also important because that says when to open and close things, which we covered earlier. Okay, here's a closer look at this camshaft. And these outer ones here are the exhaust lobes and these uh, ones that are bunched together here are the intake lobes. Now what it normally works on are these outer lobes for the uh, normal operation of the engine. When VTEC activates, it works off of this higher lift and duration cam lobe. And it does this through oil pressure. I covered this in more detail in the uh, other video, which I'll post a link in the description to. So normal VTEC changes the lift and duration of the camshaft or of the cam lobe. So it's like having two camshafts in one and you're changing how the engine breathes. Once again, this is the mechanical program of the engine telling it when to breathe in and when to breathe out. When VTEC is active, there's a higher lift and duration on the intake side in this cam, therefore it can take in more air uh, during the process so that it can produce more power and more torque at a given RPM. Now we're back over at the uh, Elements engine. Now every engine has a given RPM range where it produces its maximum torque and maximum power. And that is mainly dictated by that camshaft. And that says when that power curve comes in. So at a given RPM, it's producing a maximum torque. At a given RPM, it's producing maximum horsepower or watts or, or newton meters. or It just depends on where you're from. But it's, it's all a measurement of power. And that power is dictated, that power delivery, I should say, is dictated by this camshaft. Now the IV tech side of things happens right here at this special cam gear. And what this does is this actually alters the cam timing. So some of you may be familiar with adjustable uh, cam gears that you can get for some older engines where you can take the camshaft and either advance or retard it a little bit uh, to change the power delivery of that engine. So if your torque comes in at like say uh, 2500 RPM, it's got peak torque, and you wanna make that come in sooner, you can actually adjust this so that it comes in at like maybe 1600 RPM. And you would do that with an adjustable cam gear. 
Well, this is a variable adjustable cam gear that also works on oil pressure. You'll notice in the back here, there's a couple of solenoids that uh, will activate and, cut and allow oil pressure to come into this special gear to cause it to either advance or retard a little bit, depending upon what the computer is demanding. Over here on the back side, you can see just barely, there are two cam sensors that work off of these, well, notches on the outside of the camshaft itself. This tells the computer exactly what position the camshaft is in, so it knows when to activate different things, the VTEC and also, once again, this special cam gear. So the VTEC I means that, or the IVTEC in this case, means that not only does it change lift and duration, but it also changes cam timing. And to do that, like I said, it rotates the camshaft either forward or backwards in order to get that uh, lift and duration at a different place to change the power output of the engine. So it's like having several camshafts in one and one camshaft that's adjustable. So it's a, it's a way to try to get maximum fuel efficiency and maximum power delivery out of an engine by mechanical and electronic means. Right, the bump stick, the camshaft. It tells the engine when to make its power and how much power to make. It controls how the engine breathes, so I can't stress that enough. This is the mechanical program of that engine. With systems like VTEC and IVTEC, you can change that power output with the lift and duration of the cam lobes, but you can also change when it happens if you change the phasing of the camshaft. So that's where the IVTEC comes in. Uh, it changes the timing of the camshaft and when things happen. Uh, they do this mainly to uh, maximize the power output under a variety of conditions uh, that the engine may encounter. The computer takes several different inputs. It knows what position the cam is in, knows what position the crank is in, knows how much load is on the engine, and a variety of other uh, parameters that it understands. And it commands an output to either give it VTEC or changing the cam timing, the IVTEC part of things. Uh, but yes, that's, that's the, in a nutshell how the system works. So camshaft tells the engine when to breathe. With VTEC and IVTEC, you can change when that happens and so you can have a broader uh, power range within a given engine. Anyway, I hope this video has uh, helped increase your understanding of VTEC and IVTEC, how these things work. Uh, there will be uh, links in the description to additional videos and information on this topic. I would suggest there you go there if you have additional questions. Also, if you have automotive questions that were not addressed in this video, I would ask that you head over to airthecarguide.com. There's a welcome video there to tell you about all of our amazing features uh, that can help you with automotive issues should you have them. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram and I close each of my videos with be safe have fun stay dirty and have fun with your bump sticks